Hey everybody, this is Rob Archangel, and uh, today I'd like to review Silenced, Our War on Free Speech, an upcoming documentary produced by Mike Cernovich, directed by Lauren Feldman, and uh, it is coming out uh, some point soon. You can check out more information at silencedmovie.com. I was a Kickstarter backer, so I got early access to uh, a final draft of it, and uh, a really compelling documentary, really interesting. I think it's designed to be participatory. One of the uh, take homes, uh, takeaway messages that I got is that um, it's important to have conversations and uh, to begin talking about these issues with friends and family. I think it was designed to be really accessible and uh, to invite and open up uh, areas of inquiry and conversation among people from all sorts of different backgrounds. And I think that's a real strength of it. Presented uh, several dozen different individuals sharing their stories, their perspectives, all centered around the idea of free speech and the curtailment of free speech, the way uh, censorship uh, works, if it's if it's happening now, and uh, what it looks like. Maybe not necessarily legal censorship, but uh, de facto censorship from other aspects of culture, uh, people losing their jobs or, or having their uh, social lives interrupted by uh, their expression of, uh, of themselves, of ideas that maybe are uh, controversial or unpopular. One of the ideas that the movie conveys, I think that is important, free speech is uh, necessary not for happy-go-lucky speech, uh, for bubblegum and sunshine, but for, for things that are likely to disturb or upset or bother people, that um, it's precisely that sort of speech that we need to protect because that is the basis of dissension. If we start limiting free speech for uh, our political opponents, at some point the, uh, the tables may turn and we'll find that our own speech and our own communication in our own attempts to uh, convey dissent are also curtailed. I think the, the principle of free speech is uh, something that just about everybody can get behind, and in that respect, it's uh, the uh, philosophical or, or persuasion principle of the high ground maneuver. Uh, let's brush aside for the time being the, the details of any particular expressions of free speech or curtailment of free speech, and you know, whether they're offensive or otherwise, and focus on, on the importance of it as a principle. When I was younger, I remember having a conversation with my grandfather. I said something or other that was probably rebellious, and he said, I disagree with you, but I would defend to my death your right to say it. And that struck a chord with me, and uh, I remember that and kind of carried that with me through middle school and high school when I started learning about uh, politics and philosophy and and the importance of, of free speech and open communication, that um, bad ideas should see the light of day uh, because if we establish gatekeepers, then we uh, cede over a lot of power and uh, a lot of responsibility. In some ways, the, uh, the principle of free speech, I think, is related to the um, establishment of the, the Gutenberg Press and publishing the Bible in uh, the vernacular. Essentially, it says that we are not um, subject to gatekeepers, we're not subject to the priesthood class, that we should all have access to, um, to the Bible, to the Word of God, to whatever ideas are, are circulating out there, and uh, we should be able to uh, sort through them ourselves, uh, to build our um, intellectual capacity to reason, to make sense of ideas, to determine what is uh, going to have utility and what won't, what will um, be true and accurate and resonant and what won't. And um, I hope that this, uh, this documentary provides a, a bit of a wake-up call and that we don't look at, at it a generation from now and say, boy, we, we missed the warning signs. There was writing on the wall and some people were talking about it and recognizing that, that this principle was not as valued, was being encroached upon, and, uh, and we lost it successively. And uh, I hope that, that it instigates an appreciation 
for the principle. It is, after all, a uh, foundational part of the Constitution, the First Amendment, the right to free expression and assembly. Uh, it's a big part of the uh, philosophical tradition of America as well. And, um, and there, are, there are conversations and debates about the limits of free speech. Should there be any limits, what, are the, um, what's, what constitutes the gray space and, and what constitutes um, the, the borders of free space, if there are any. So I'm hoping that this documentary will, will have that impact. My sense is that that's what they're, they're looking for and, and instigating and uh, trying to, to find some common ground to unite people, uh, you know, left, right, and center on and um, establish that we, we do have some shared values, some shared interests that we can disagree uh, vociferously on, on uh, particular positions, but, uh, but we have some shared philosophical uh, mooring for, uh, for us that, that can unite us. And uh, I think this documentary is um, suitable for uh, folks probably teenage year, uh, teenage years and up. And uh, again, it's designed to, um, to watch with friends and family and, and have conversations about this and, and figure out what we can do as a culture to protect free speech, to uphold that principle, and to navigate and make sense of it in our day-to-day -day lives. You can find out more information at silencedmovie.com. And uh, thanks to Mike and Lauren and all the participants for a really fascinating and uh, compelling documentary.